Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this doesn't work. Let's get open for business and let's wake up the football gods. Wake up, guys. It's time to get up. I'm actually getting up and getting out earlier, uh, probably for the next few weeks, because I'm doing a project that's literally at the top of the beltway. And you got to get out early to get ahead of the traffic because the traffic sucks as bad as the Washington Redskins. And that's pretty damn bad. So um, uh, do me a favor. Um, I have another channel, Joe Boo's Day Job. Um, subscribe to that channel. If I can get it up to 1,000 subscribers, then I can actually start to um, uh, live stream so that way we can kind of show you that job and stuff on the other channel and things. You know, I worry... YouTube is an incredible platform. It does enables us to do so many different things. But, you know, with so much news going on the Cowboys and me posting so many videos, I need to spread the wealth just a little bit more so that way we don't have, you know, an issue. Or if we do have an issue, we have a backup plan. So Joe Boo's day job. So I'm going to start posting more and more things on there. And if I can get to 1,000, then I can start live streaming, you know, while we're actually working and kind of separate some of the shop work from the sports and the cooking and things so here's the great thing that you got to love about football you remember how all of the experts out there all of the talking heads went through and they deemed the doo-doo browns as a super bowl contender one of the top teams in the nfl because of the personnel that they brought in they got odell beckham you know, that, they're going to be great, you know, with Landry. you got Baker Mayfield, you know, Baker, Baker, touchdown maker and stuff, who had an incredible rookie year and stuff. And he's going to be incredible with these guys and everything else. The Cleveland Browns, yeah. Hmm. Not real good. You can say Baker Mayfield has that sophomore slump. But you know the amazing thing? When Dak regressed as they put it they killed him it was talk about Dak every single day and it's still talk about Dak every day you know he's not a top like quarterback he stinks he's terrible they don't seem to talk about that as much with Baker as they did with Dak Prescott it's kind of funny but understand the NFL is a week-to-week -week league right now the 49ers they're the only team in the NFC that's undefeated. Now, they've had their bye week already, so they're one game behind. But they've been winning, and I think three of their wins are by more than 14 points. And so maybe now we really have to start taking San Francisco as legit. You know how they talked about some of the other teams that, you know, are going to be great, and they're not. It's the thing about football. You just don't know what you don't know. And sometimes we have things better than we think and we think we want something else the grass is greener on the other side so to speak and so we want to change things you know so many people kept talking about Dak Prescott he's just dink and dunk dink and dunk Dak Dak Prescott yeah you know he's not throwing the ball down the field he can't throw the ball down the field this that and the other you know it's all about Zeke Elliott Zeke Elliott without that offense the Cowboys aren't doing anything and I've been saying for a long time that understand what we were doing was we were controlling the clock. We were protecting our defense because we were keeping the ball away from other teams. They wouldn't get worn out because you're on these methodical drives. You know, Zeke Elliott for five or six yards. You know, you get a slant round, get eight, nine yards, get your tight end for 12 yards, or you're going to get Amari Cooper. Well, now, I don't know if you guys realize this, and I know – when you think about the two losses, you think, well, we can't pass the ball at all. But see, we've kind of gone in the completely other side of the spectrum. Because we used to be a running team, now we're a passing team. And this is kind of amazing because I want you to notice, as we go through NFL stats, Pat Mahomes, 1,831 yards, which drops down to Matty Ice, 1,655 yards. Jared Goff is six yards behind him, and Dak is only 49 yards behind Matt Ryan. 
that's incredible when you think about that Dak is already thrown for almost half of what he did his rookie year in the first five games. Dak's got 150 yards more than Phillip Rivers. That's not the Dallas Cowboys' way to win. The fact that you've got, look at this, Amari Cooper, second in the NFL in passing yards, I mean in receiving yards. That's great if you got him in fantasy. Lots of touchdowns. But here's the problem. Here is the problem. As we go through the list, where is Zeke? Zeke is eighth with 386 yards. It's great. We've scored some points. We've gone down the field. Even in the Packer game, we were getting guys wide open. That's working. That's working great. But here's the problem for us is it's changing what was the winning formula for us. Because when we were able to control the clock, we weren't that quick strike offense. You ended up keeping the other guy off the field. And when you took your time going down the field, when you took seven, eight, ten minutes in a drive, your defense was rested. And it made the other teams more one-dimensional because they came out and was like, we got to pass. And then you could turn those racing lizards loose. They could pass rush. But what we found is our defensive players, the Cowboys like a particular type of guy. They like a guy who's fast, a guy who's lean, who's got a lot of leg. You know, like six foot four, about 260, 270 maybe. That's fast. But the problem is, and teams have learned, just like the Rams did in the playoffs last year, just like the Packers just did, is you can run right up the gut on them. You don't have the big heavies, the big nasties in the middle to stop the run. And that's what happened with Aaron Rodgers. It wasn't Aaron Rodgers that beat us with his arm. It was the fact that we could not stop people. And so when we end up going downfield, throwing the football, clock stops when you go out of bounds. Stop, clock stops on an incomplete it gives more time for the opposition, and you score quicker. And that's why our defense was getting gashed and looking tired. I had hoped that Tristan Hill was going to be a plug-and-play player, that he was going to get out there and be that big beast. Because for me, I've always liked the big, mean, nasty, 800-pound gorilla, the guy that literally is pissing fire that is making the quarterback scared because as he gets under center, he sees that guy only a few feet away and he worries about his life. We haven't gotten that guy yet. We haven't gotten that guy that can anchor the middle. And as long as we go through with this passing offense, hey, it's great having a top 10 quarterback in statistics. It's great having a top and I should say top five in both of them, wide receiver. But if we don't get Zeke Eaton and mixing that more into the clock and find a way to stop the run, you're going to have problems. Now understand, as much as we always talk about all the quarterbacks that put the team on their back, take a look at the Green Bay game this week, which was the reverse of what happened with the Green Bay-Philadelphia game. Aaron Rodgers didn't throw for a touchdown. Aaron Rodgers didn't throw for more than 250 yards. But they were able to run the ball, control the clock, and beat us. Dak Prescott, 460-some yards, 
Mari Cooper over 200 yards receiving. That was what Green Bay was doing with Philadelphia. But Philadelphia, Carson Wentz only had 160 yards, and they were able to run the football. So as much as we talk about running, oh, you don't need a running back, you don't need a running game, you just need a quarterback that lights it up. No. You need both. You need balance. And right now, you need to control the clock for this defense. We can't have them on the field like we are. They're just getting beat down. So hopefully the game plan will kind of reflect that some and help the defense out. Because right now, we're back where we were a few years ago with Tony Romo and the offense having to help the defense a little bit. I'm Mark Holmes. Uh, We still have plenty of time to get this back on track. I'll see you guys soon.